We're supposed to be taking you guys on a really cool farm tour today. A farm that has my ideal homestead livestock. But we're now on our fourth or fifth day in a row of heavy rain. We had a lot of overnight rain again and it's been raining on and off this morning. And on the farm where we wanted to take you guys today, uh, it is just full 100% rain there all day. Here comes the rain again. We gotta make this quick. But the farm that we were gonna take you to is, and it's coming down. I gotta get the camera inside. We'll finish this in a minute. There are still a lot of dark clouds in the sky, but for the moment, the sun is out. So as I was saying, what I really love about the farm where we're gonna go to is the farmer has all the ideal livestock for homestead animals. Of course, for sheep, she has katahdins. Her pigs are American guinea hogs, which are perfect for homesteading. And her beef cows are dexters, which again, are perfect for homestead scale. The American guinea hog is awesome because it has a very high quality pork. It does extremely well on pasture. They tend not to root and prefer to graze. They require no supplemental feed as long as they have quality pasture to graze. I'm really interested in adding American guinea hogs to the homestead here. Uh, that's something that we definitely want to do next year. And ultimately, I would love to have cattle on the homestead. And I really think we can make it work with a Dexter. That's why I love going to this particular farm. I talked to the farmer on the phone just a little while ago, and we're going to try and reschedule for later in the week when the weather's supposed to clear up. Since we're not going there today, we're going to check out a farm that's doing you pick pumpkins. Hello guys. And inside the house, we have some chicken broth going here. And we also have the beginnings of some butternut soup going. You wanna tell us about that? So we're sauteing some onions. I'm going to add some apples to it. They're diced, they're delicious. They're from Daniel's dad's orchard. And then we're going to add in the softened butternut and a little bit of the chicken broth. Mix it up really well and add some spices. Should be delicious.
chicken broth. It smells amazing and it's gotten a lot cooler than it was. So we have several mason jars that are clean and dry and we're going to fill them up and then cap them, put them in the refrigerator so that we can enjoy delicious soup. <laughs> 